it's Addie, and today we are watching Star Trek Into Darkness. I'm so excited to get into this movie today. I think what I loved so much about the 2009 Star Trek is just the characters and the cast, and I love all of the characters' dynamics, and it seems like Spock and Kurt are becoming friends, even though they definitely seemed like enemies from the beginning. But I love this cast so much. I mean, we had some Marvel friends. We have at least one uh, Lord of the Rings friend uh, in this. So it's so fun to see so many familiar faces. I also love that the original Spock was is still involved uh, with the reboot series. I think it's so fun how they are incorporating time travel to have him involved. So it's so cool. I'm so excited to see what comes next. So let's just dive in and see what these characters are up to. This is Star Trek Into Darkness. This is such an interesting planet. Oh! Interesting creatures too. That was our ride! You just stunned our ride! Hi! Wow. They need to do his life for him to see you. No, Mr. Spock, they did not! I'll see you in 90 seconds. Oh, he's going into the volcano. I can't hold this position. Spock, I gotta pull you back up. Negative. Oh. Oh. We're going back to the Enterprise. We'll get you out of there. Oh, no. No. This was their best option? Okay, so we did have to dive straight into the water. The sky! We're Spock. Still in the volcano, sorry. I don't think we have enough time. Oh, it looks like we do not have time. I have activated the device, Captain. I need to beam Spock back to the ship. Oh. Give me one way to do it. Hello. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. The rule cannot be broken. Under any All of our rules? In this case, we should definitely just save Spock. What would he do? He'd let you die. That's true. Mm. Oh, they're risking it. Wow. We're going after Spock. Oh. That's how we neutralize it. Oh, Spock is going to be so mad at them, though. An emotionless mad, though. Captain, you let them see our ship. Big deal. Here we go. Wow. Look at you, London. She's so young. Your daughter. I can save her. Who are you? Hello, friend. Maybe not friend, though, in this one. <laughs> Uneventful. Tell me more about this volcano. Maybe it didn't erupt because Mr. Spock detonated a cold fusion device. Admiral, oh, the report? Spock. Starfleet's mandate is to explore and observe, not to interfere. You're dismissed, Commander. You have any idea what a pain in the ass you are? It's the lesson to be learned here. Never trust a Vulcan. Oh, so you can't <gasps> even answer the question. You lied. They've taken the Enterprise away from you. They're sending you back to the Academy. Oh, man. Oh, I wonder if this is gonna work. I have I hope this works. Oh. Oh, does she not know about this? I mean, it looks to be working. wife didn't know about any of this because there was some exchange wow he did all of that to save his daughter they gave her back to me congratulations you're gonna be my first officer if anybody deserves a second chance it's jim kirk emergency session daystrom suit up here we go captain not anymore spock first officer i saved your life spock you wrote a report i lost my ship where i come from if someone saves your life you don't stab him in the back i'm gonna miss you Will you miss Jim? 
The target was a Starfleet data archive. Now, he was being forced to do it by this man, Commander John Harrison. He's one of our own. This is a manhunt, pure and simple, so let's get to work. Why the archive? In the event of an attack, protocol mandates that senior command gather captains and first officers at Starfleet HQ right here. No, he's trying to take out all of them. He only attacked the archive to get this to happen. Wow. Away. Oh. That guy has been through so much. She tortured and almost killed in the first one. Now this. Where is this? Does not look like Earth. Mr. Scott has found something in the wreckage of Harrison's ship. It's a portable transport beaming device. He's going to the one place we... we just can't go. So Harrison's gone to the Klingon homeworld. London was not an archive. It was a top secret branch of Starfleet. Harrison was one of our top agents. Well, not as a fugitive and I want to take him out. So he was a part of Starfleet. Pike always said you were one of our best and brightest. His death is on me and yours can't be. I don't want you hurt, but I want to take him out. Lock on to Harrison's position. You fire, you kill him. Permission to reinstate okay. Mr. Spock as my first officer. Granted. Hey, we're working together again. Thank you for requesting my reinstatement. You're welcome. Anything for you, Spock. Preemptively firing torpedoes at the Klingon homeworld goes against You every... yourself said the area is uninhabited. Captain Kirk, Science Officer Wallace. I've been assigned to the Enterprise by Admiral Marcus. Specializing in... Advanced weaponry. But redundant now that I'm back aboard the Enterprise. And yet, the more the merrier. I don't know if I can trust her yet, though. It seems very odd that she was transferred at the very last minute. I can't authorize any weapons on board this ship without knowing what's inside them. It's classified. It's classified. So I said, no specs, no signature. Captain, I need you to approve those weapons. Do you know what this is, Captain? I don't have time for a I'm kind, of, I'm kind of with Scotty on this one. Letting those torpedoes on board the Enterprise is the last straw. What was the first straw? There are plenty of straws. <laughs> We have a lot of straws here. Sign for the torpedoes, that's an order. You leave me no choice but to resign my duties. Do you accept sign? my resignation or not? I do! Oh, man. I'm with Scotty on this one. It doesn't seem safe. Do not use those torpedoes. Oh. Your boyfriend's second-guessing me every chance he gets. Oh, maybe it's me. I, I it's not mean. you. Oh, they're definitely fighting. Whoa! You're my new chief. I'll put on a red shirt. I kept him. As most of you know, Christopher Pike, former captain of this ship, is dead. The man who killed him has fled our system and is hiding on the Klingon homeworld, where we will capture the fugitive John Harrison and return him to Earth so he can face judgment for his actions. Whoa. I think Spock's a Captain, I believe you have made the right now. decision. I would be happy to accompany you on the away team. Thank you, Mr. Spock. I'm curious if Harrison, though, just thinks they won't follow him there or if he wants them to start a war. What are you doing, Doctor? There is no record of you being assigned to the Enterprise. I can only assume the Admiral is your father. He cannot know that I'm- oh. Jeez. Sorry, sir, I don't know what happened. The core overheated. I had to activate emergency stop. You're coming with me to Kronos. Coming too. This isn't gonna be a problem, is it? You two working together? Absolutely not. Oh! Unclear. <laughs> Might be a problem. I'm sure engineering will have us all patched up by the time we get back. Isn't that right, Mr. Chekhov? That might not be true, though. Mr. Sulu, you have the con. I've just never sat in the chair before. Mm -hmm. You're gonna do great. I believe in you. All right, you got this. Mr. Sulu, I think we found our man. You let him know you mean business. Attention, John Harrison. I will unleash the entire payload of advanced long-range torpedoes. You have two minutes to confirm your compliance. If you test me, you will fail. I mean, he's doing a pretty good job. Remind me never to piss you off. Yeah. It is unlikely that he will come willingly. Good thing you don't care about dying. I could not hear what oh, you said. Oh, I didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, this might be a problem. At that volcano, you didn't give a thought to us. What it would do to me if you died, Spock. And I'm not the only one who's upset with you. The captain is too. Well, no, 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 don't drag him <laughs> Maybe don't drag him into this. As Admiral Pike was dying, I joined with his consciousness. I had experienced those feelings before multiplied exponentially on the day my planet was destroyed. 
Such a feeling is something I choose never to experience again. You mistake my choice not to feel as a reflection of my not caring. I assure you, the truth is precisely the opposite. Jeez, oh, that was such a sweet what moment! <laughs> of course it had to be ruined! Can we make it? Does this ship will not fit. We'll fit. We will not fit. We'll no, fit. we're not gonna fit. Hey, we we somewhat fit. I told you we fit. I am not <laughs> sure that qualifies. <laughs> we lost them. Or they're jamming our scanners. Or we lost them. Yeah, she's right. We're outnumbered. There's no way we survive if we attack first. You brought me here because I speak Klingon. Then let me speak Klingon. We don't have a lot of options here. Oh, is she just going out by herself? If you interrupt her now, you will not only incur the wrath of the Klingons, but that of Lieutenant Ahura as well. Je vois l'ach je vais. Rach je vaut nach dach pich vam dach. That's true. She's not lying. Ooh. Oh, they're so creepy. No, 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 no. Is that That's not Harrison, is it? Why would he be fighting them for the humans? Yeah, why is he fighting for them? With them? How many torpedoes? Stand down! The torpedoes, oh how many gosh. are there? 72. I surrender. This seems too easy. On behalf of Christopher Pike, I accept your surrender. You know, I felt a punch coming, so it felt weird that he just said, I accept your surrender. But there it is. Is he not affected by these punches? Is he human? Contact Starfleet, let them know we have Harrison in custody. He just took out a squad of Klingon single-handedly, I want to know how. Sounds like we have a Superman on board. Like, I feel like he's a few steps ahead of them right now. I'm gonna take a blood sample. Why aren't we moving? An unexpected malfunction, perhaps in your warp core, conveniently stranding you on the edge of Klingon space. No. Yeah, he's a few steps ahead of them. Ignore me and you will get everyone on this ship killed. We can't exactly trust you. You are a criminal. The only reason why you are still alive is because I am allowing it. You seem to have a conscience. If you did not, then it would be impossible for me to convince you of the truth. Two, three, one, seven. Coordinates not far from Earth. Give me one reason why I should listen to you. I can give you 72. I suggest mm -hmm. you open one up. So there is something about the torpedoes. Okay. What? Scotty, it's Kirk. Oh, well now. <laughs> Your friend. Don't know exactly what you're looking for, but may have been right about those torpedoes. I am not doing that man any favors. No, you should you should probably help us. Oh, all right then. <laughs> Are you out of your corn fed mind? Right. You're not actually gonna listen to this guy. The doctor does have a point, Captain. Don't agree with me, Spock. It makes me very <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> the Admiral's daughter appeared to have interest in the torpedoes, and she is a weapons specialist. What Admiral's daughter? Your new science officer concealed her identity to board the ship. Father gave me access to every program he ever saw. And then I heard he was developing these prototype torpedoes. That's mm. when I discovered the torpedoes had disappeared from all official records. Okay, so maybe we can trust her. We probably can't trust her father, though. There is a nearby planetoid. I can open one up there, but I will need some help. Turn around. Turn around. Lieutenant Ohura, did you let Starfleet know we have Harrison in custody? Yes, sir. We found the leak, sir, but the damage is substantial. We are working on it. I accept full responsibility. No, that's not your fault. Something tells me it wasn't your fault. To understand how powerful these weapons are, we need to open the warhead. To do that, we need to access the fuel compartment. You'll need to cut the 23rd wire down. <laughs> sir. Can't get my arm 30 seconds? Signal. And he can't see what he's cutting. 10. 9. <laughs> We're good. Dr. McCoy, are you all right? Yeah, we're fine. Somehow. You're gonna wanna see this. What? So they aren't actually torpedoes? Like they haven't been this entire time? Ooh. Oh, you're just gonna sneak in with them? Smart. Holy shit. Is he alive? He's alive. 
That cryotube is ancient. He's 300 years old. There are men and women in all those torpedoes, Captain. Yeah. I put them there. Oh. Who the hell are you? Genetically engineered to be superior so as to lead others to peace. For centuries we slept, hoping when we awoke things would be different. John Harrison was a fiction created the moment I was awoken by your Admiral Marcus. Yeah, we can't trust Admiral Marcus. My name is Khan because I am better at what? Everything. Yeah. Marcus used me to design weapons. He sent you to use those weapons. He purposely crippled your ship in enemy space, leading to one inevitable outcome, the war he always wanted. I did think it was kind of odd that Marcus was so okay with breaking the rules, when Pike was not okay with breaking any rules. I tried to smuggle them to safety by concealing them in the very weapons I had designed. Is there anything you would not do for your family? Proximity alert, sir. There's a ship at warp heading right for us. We both know who it is. Uh, but I still don't know if we can fully trust you, though. It seems like we have a lot of enemies. Shields. I kept them. Oh! Okay, the Enterprise is a huge, huge ship, so that... that <laughs> that's a big boy. And I wasn't expecting to get word that you're taking Harrison into custody in violation of your orders. We had to improvise when our warp core unexpectedly malfunctioned. Captain, they're scanning our ship. Is there something I can help you find, sir? Planning on returning Khan to Earth. I made a mistake. And now the blood of everybody he's killed is on my hands. Give him to me so that I can end what I started. Mm, I don't trust you, but I also don't trust Khan. You saw what this man could do all by himself. Can you imagine what would happen if we woke up the rest of his crew? And now it is our duty to carry out that sentence before anybody else dies because of him. I literally don't know who to trust right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trust no one. Lower your shields. He's in engineering, sir. But I'll have him move to the transporter room right away. Do not drop those shields, Mr. Sulu. Yeah, I can't. do not do that. Mr. Chekhov, can we warp? Technically, yes, but uh, I would not advise it. We're gonna try it. At least we're moving again. <laughs> if you think you're safe at warp, you're wrong. He's gonna catch up with us, and when he does, the only thing that's gonna stop him destroying this ship is me, so you have to let me talk to him. Yeah. Run into them. Yeah. Everybody on this ship is going to die if you don't let me speak to him. Yeah, I feel like we have to do this. It's me, it's Carol. Yeah, that worked for now. What are you doing on that ship? I don't believe that the man who raised me is capable of destroying a ship full of innocent people. Oh. <clears throat> No. Did we intercept a transport signal? No, sir. You went rogue in enemy territory, leaving me no choice but to hunt you down and destroy you. I take full responsibility for my actions, but they were mine. If I transmit Khan's location to you now, all that I ask is that you spare them. I don't trust Admiral. I'll do anything you want. Just let them live. That's very cool of you, Jim. Bye, Ellen. Uh... Our weapons won't fire. Enterprise. Can you hear me? Scotty! Scotty! I'd really like to get out this bloody ship and beam me out. <laughs> okay, thank you, Scotty. This indicates that you plan to align with Khan, the very man we were sent here to destroy. I'm not aligning with him, I'm using him. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Or we have three different sides fighting each other right now. It's not logical, it is a gut feeling. The Enterprise and her crew need someone in that chair that knows what he's doing. It's not me. That's you, Spock. Mm, I don't like this option, though. Right now, I need your help. In exchange for what? You said you'd do anything for your crew. I can guarantee their safety. You can't even guarantee the safety of your own crew. That's true. You coming with me or not? There's a cargo door, hangar 7 access port 101A. You need to find the manual override to open that airlock. Mr. Sulu, what is the status of the other ship? The systems are still offline. I'm in the hangar. Give me a minute. I'm running. Stand by. <laughs> Running as best as I can right now. Okay, okay, I'm set to open the door. You ready? Are you? Three, two, one. Oh, that happened so quickly. <laughs> Jeez. That should not have been scary. Captain, there is debris directly ahead. Copy that. Ah. Don't move. No. 
We bit of maintenance on the airlock console. You're big. <laughs> His communicator is working. I don't know why he isn't responding. What is that? No, 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 no. Target destination is mathematically impossible. Spock, if I get back, we really need to talk about your bedside manner. My display is still functioning. Save him? I see you, Kirk. You're 200 meters ahead of me at my one o'clock. Oh, thanks, Khan. I still don't trust you, but thank you for saving him. Open the door in 10. Stay! Any time now. The person counting down, what is that? That's one way to get rid of him. Thanks, Scotty. Perfect timing. Hi. Welcome aboard. What a warm welcome. Commander, I have that transmission as requested. Hello. Mr. Spock. Mr. Spock. <laughs> Hello. I'll deal with you in a minute. Oh my gosh. I am ashamed to be your daughter. Where'd you find this guy? It's a long story. I will oh. be brief. I don't think you want to know. Did you ever encounter a man named Khan? I have made a vow never to give you information that could potentially alter your destiny. I think we need this information. That being said, oh, Khan Union Singh is the most dangerous adversary the Enterprise ever faced. Yeah, that's a problem. Did you defeat him? At great cost. How? One. Oh my gosh. Ah. Has Khan, has he left us? Oh, he's absolutely left us. Yeah, he has his own agenda. You inadvertently activated a torpedo. Could you replicate the process? Oh, I'm a doctor, not a torpedo technician. The fact that you're a doctor is precisely why I need you to listen very carefully. This way. Uh-uh-uh, mm. don't trust him. I thought he was helping us. I'm pretty sure we're helping him. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Admiral Marcus, you're No, he's faking. I do not you're think not that that worked. Too. Yeah, 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 he's faking! War is coming, and who is gonna lead us? You kind of got us into this mess. You better kill me. But I Khan could stun you though. and drag you out of that chair. I'd rather not do that in front of your daughter. I think the daughter might be okay with it. Ooh, yeah, Khan! Uh, oh, man. oh yeah, he's awful. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. Uh, they all had to just watch that happen. I'm going to make this very simple for you. Oh. Your crew. For my crew. And what will you do when you get them? Continue the work we were doing before we were banished. Involves the mass genocide of any being you find to be less than superior. Or will you give me what I want? Oh, he's terrifying. I will walk over your cold corpses to recover Yikes. my people. Oh my gosh. Shall we begin? <laughs> Lower shields. This is what other A wise choice. Do. If they're not mine, Commander, I will know it. Vulcans do not lie. The torpedoes are yours. I hope you did something to them. Thank you, Mr. Smart. Seems apt to return you to your crew. <laughs> After all. He's gonna turn him dead. No ship should go down without her, Captain. Yikes. Prepare for imminent proximity detonation. What's he talking about? What detonation? The torpedoes. Here on the torpedoes. Oh, he did. That's what he was having the doctor do. Not bad, Commander. Thank you, Lieutenant. Boats! Boats! Are, are we sure Khan's gone, though? He killed Khan's crew. Spock's cold, but he's not that cold. Oh, you Same separated them? Cryotubes. Whoa. Look at you, Spock. I don't think Khan's gone yet, though. As acting I captain, I order you to abandon this ship. All due respect, Commander. Oh. But we're not going anywhere. Oh, we are falling fast. Get over! The Khan's! Come on. Come on, no. No, no, no. Hold on. Is that Chuck? Ah! Someone has to hit the manual, all right. Oh, Lani, there's a switch. It's because it's a dish. I'll flip the switch. The housing's are misaligned. There's no way we can redirect the power. I'm opening the door. I'm going in. That door is there to stop us from getting an idiot. We'd be dead before we made the climb. He is. Ah! Oh. 
gym. Jim is okay. How close to the ground are we? Oh. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Jim. Altitude stabilizing. It's a miracle. There are no such things. No, it was Jim. Open it. The decontamination process is not complete. You'd flood the whole compartment. This is what you have done. It was only logical. I'm scared, Spock. How do you choose? Right now, I am failing because you are my friend. No. I don't accept that. He can't die. Oh, Scotty. Yeah. Yeah. Go! Oh yeah, he's still alive. Oh wow. Yeah, I was about to say, we didn't see him die. No, it, it's really taking it out. Oh. Search the enemy ship for signs of life. Sir, he's there's alive. no way anyone survived. Well, it's Khan. And I, he could probably survive if he just jumped out. Yeah, apparently. Can we beam him up? There's too much damage. I have no incoming signal. It may be possible to beam you down, sir. Go get him. Oh. Is Spock strong enough to take him? Yeah. Oh, man. He's, like, really gone. Give me a quiet two, now! Ah, uh, uh, we kind of needed that. Can Khan resist that? No. Ow. Get this guy out of the cryo tube. Keep him in an induced coma. We're gonna put Kirk inside. How much of Khan's blood is left? None. Ah, uh, come on. Reach Spock. I need Khan alive. Yeah, we need to beam someone down right now. Come on, behind you. Good. Oh! oh. Ow! We've seen before that punches don't really do anything. He's our only chance to save her! Yeah, unfortunately. Wow. It was the transfusion that really took its toll. We were out cold for two weeks. Transfusion? Two weeks, wow. So does he have super strength now? Thank you. You are welcome, Jim. That's what friends do. Honor those who lost their lives. When Christopher Pike first gave me his ship, he had me recite the captain's oath. I see them as a call for us to remember who we once were and who we must be. Space. The final frontier to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilization. I love how this is always the ending. To boldly go where no one has gone before. I'm curious if he has like super strength now. Five years in space. God help me. <laughs> I'm glad you could be a part of the family. It's nice to have a family. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't trust you before. Your father is the worst. Where should we go? I defer to your good judgment, Captain. Um, a lot of twists and turns in this movie, especially regarding Khan, starting out as George Harrison, not George Harrison, <laughs> John Harrison, 
so many twists from the very beginning where he blew up the archives in order to get all of the important people in one room to kill them, which led on a full journey of them trying to kill him, then capture him, then back and forth, then trusting him for a second, finding out who he is, what his mission is. Obviously, you just can't trust Khan at any point. Honestly, it's hard to trust anyone in this because it wasn't just Khan that was the villain. Like, Admiral Marcus was also not the greatest person. Yeah, I even didn't even trust the daughter for the longest time because I just couldn't tell who you could trust in this. Uh, it's so frustrating. Like, as soon as you start trusting Khan, then you find out that he is the greatest adversary of Spock's time. I'm really glad that we saw older Spock in this too. And my, we didn't see him explain what to do, but I can only assume that he told Spock how to defeat Khan. Wow, just one twist after another, and then you think that Khan is gone, even though we didn't see his death, so I had a feeling that he, he, we were still going to see more of him, especially because he's has super strength, so he's not, obviously he's not hard to defeat, or easy to defeat. He is very hard to defeat. And then Jim sat, literally sacrificing himself to save the entire crew of, above the Enterprise. I, I'm really enjoying seeing his journey truly embodying a captain and doing everything he can, including sacrificing his life to save the crew. Like that's, it's super cool to see his journey through all of this. And what ended up happening was that he literally died to save the crew, which is so cool. I'm, I'm very curious to see the, the serum, the, the blood transfusion, how that's going to affect him in the future. If it kind of just stabilized him or if he's, has super strength now and I guess super intelligence to an extent. I'm curious to see how that's going to affect him in the future. But I'm so glad he's back. It was very heartbreaking to see him die. A part of me was like, there's no way. They, I mean, there's no way that they can kill him off. I mean, they did, but they brought him back. So it was so cool to just see all of the twists and turns and how it led to where we are. And I guess we're going to explore new strange worlds. Well, that was Star Trek Into Darkness. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.